vocals. I'm David, and I'm the drummer. Adam, yeah. it's I don't know if we've progressed. I feel like we've regressed a little. <laughs> I mean, just becoming a little more uh, boneheadish in what we do, but also, you know, we became a death metal band, so that's a pretty big change. Um, starting out as more of a crust, metal punk crust band. any type of negativity into like a music form or something you know instead of having it be in less constructive ways or you know doing something that's not productive I can you know put it into a song or whatever and like try to get it out that way or you know and obviously there's bands too that you're inspired by and just, it's kind of how it all works for me but I'm sure it's different for them what music wise yeah. well I guess death metal is just like super you know bonehead shit like cyanide or like uh just, um, I like a lot of old like Swedish stuff, so like Old Grave and Carnage and Tournament, stuff like that, and just anything that's got a good riff, a good, you know, good, good vibe to it, you know, I can get down with it. Energy, riffs. Energy for sure. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. tends to get wild sometimes, you know, when the band plays for sure. Definitely some sexy riffs, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A little bit of man arm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it depends on if you're up front, you know? If you're up front, then you can expect. We'll get a lot of some sweaty. Uh, oh, wow. an ex a memorable experience. And if you're in the back, maybe you can too, but it's a different kind of memory. It's less in the body, more in the head. Thank you. 
some changes, but um, I like to write about conflict, you know, of different kinds. So, um, and I, I like to write about the mind um, as, you know, a kind of uh, horror movie that's always on. You know, it's like um, instead of looking outside for horror or horrifying, you know, themes or whatever, I tend to look at myself. Where do you find yourself um, most creative? What, what mostly you What makes you take? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, for me, you know, I think, um, Certainly, I read a lot, um, so I like, you know, like um, thinking about different ideas that I pick up in books. Um, but I mean, all that is um, sort of second to, um, you know, certain things that I do that provide me more of an experience. You know, I guess beyond just reading a text. So. The analysis, psychoanalysis, is something I do that, you know, helps me become curious about my mind and struggle with it. And um, that's the kind of stuff I write about, um, yeah, my mind or, you know, but then we write about social stuff too, because it's all connected. It's all, yeah, one horrifying mess. No, that, we, that, no, that was no, mine. Suffer. I suffer. Wrote the yeah. <laughs> Kyle wrote the chorus to All Wings. I yeah. Inspired it. You inspired it, that's right. And then Suffer, though, on the new record. Yeah, it's um, a Lawless song. That song, All Wings, though, actually, like, when I wrote that, and then you went with it, too, the theme, I think, was uh, I used to work at a homeless drop in center, and one of the kids there was dying of cirrhosis of the liver. And we went to visit him 
in the hospital and they took him off the breathing machine and we were, I was touching him and I felt his spirit go right through me and it was beautiful. And that so the song was kind of about that like death but from that perspective. Wow, that's amazing. It looks fucking cool. Yeah. The There's the something right? else going on for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, we write about that stuff too. Definitely. Shout out to Skolex and Fetter sure. and Mortiferum for making a killer lineup yeah, and a, a wild killer short shows. tour and um, yeah, and then just all the people who are up front, people in the back too. 